All right, this is to assist you with the classifications for refrigerants, and they are broken down into either lower toxicity ratings or higher toxicity ratings, and that is to uh, human health. It's regard to human health, and then they go in stages of where it's not gonna catch on fire, uh, or it has a low chance of catching on fire, or it has a high chance of catching on fire. Now, if they're asking you this question for uh, type one or type two certification for the EPA test, they're probably talking about one of these refrigerants here, CFC 12, 11, or 134A. And all those are uh, low flammability or low toxicity and no flammability, so they're categorized as A1. They have no chance of catching on fire, and uh, in general terms, they are not that toxic unless they are in large concentrations. Uh, the one that they're talking about for type three, type three refrigerant is a uh, 123, R123 and that has a little bit higher toxicity rating. In other words, if uh, you're working with it, definitely want to use gloves. Uh, make sure that you have some sort of protection on your hands because it will uh, damage, do some damage to the skin on your hands as you're exposed to it. And the longer the exposure, the more damage it can do. Um, so those are the classifications. And again, type two, they're probably gonna ask you about an A1 group refrigerant. Uh, that's gonna be these three. And then the type three, it'll probably be a B1 refrigerant.